Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going on a road trip, the first road trip in Dale. Why don't you come along? Okay guys, so we've got the oil checked. All the fluids are checked. We are ready to hit the road. I've got some extra oil in the back seat just in case we're gonna need that because I don't know how much this thing is burning yet. So having said all that, it's time to hit the road. So the GPS is set. We're heading off. We've got uh, roughly about uh, 110 kilometers to travel today, which is not very far. It's a great day for a drive. And for those of you who follow my Instagram, continue on New Brunswick 3 North for 25 kilometers. Thank you. For those of you who do follow my Instagram, you'll know that I posted a little while ago that I was buying a new seat, a bench seat for Dale here out of an OBS truck and it even matches the color tan and if you don't follow me on Instagram it's probably about time that you do I'll leave a link right here you guys can follow that as well as in the description box below so we're on a little bit of a road trip today I probably won't be cutting in until we get there but maybe something exciting might happen when we do so I'm gonna catch some b-roll you guys are gonna come along for the ride Okay guys, while we're out on this road trip, it might be a good time to uh, remind you that the Bumper Bumper Challenge is still on. You've got two weeks left to get your submissions in and uh, the deadline on that is May the 31st. We want to see every vehicle you've ever owned and uh, we put it into a five minute video. The rules will be listed in the description box down below and it's all to help my buddy Kip from America Bumper to Bumper reach 1,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. Guys, I hope you'll consider putting a video together and get Kip to 1,000 subscribers. Okay guys, we've made it to our destination. I've been introduced to Kenny, who's got the seat here in the back of his truck, and when I pulled in, I couldn't help but notice the K5 Blazer sitting up on the trailer. Now, it looks like an old army truck, and uh, Kenny has confirmed that it is, and it's for sale. So, what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Is it something that we should get for the channel or not? I'll have to run it by the wife first. Anyways, so this is the seat. This is out of an OBS truck, and that's exactly what I was looking for. I was holding out for the tan color. Um, and uh, it is going to be a little bit narrower, but who cares? It's going to look like it belongs in there as far as I'm concerned. It's going to be a little more comfortable than an old torn up bench seat, especially for long trips. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to exchange a little bit of money and uh, we're going to load it in the back of the truck and we're going to strike our way back home. So let's get this done. So Kenny's got himself quite a collection here. He's got an old 77, that's a three quarter ton. And uh, he's got it stored away in his barn here right now. So obviously he's a square body guy. He's got an old Suburban over here. He's got a parts truck sitting over here and he's got another, looks like a flatbed over here. So looks like we came to the right spot anyways, if we ever need some parts. <laughs> so we come up to one of these trucks here that he's got uh, laying around as a parts truck and he tells me that these fenders are fiberglass and I have never in my life ever heard of at least a factory square body coming with fiberglass fenders so if you guys have ever heard of that and know anything about it go ahead and leave us uh, some information down in the comment section I would have no clue why GM would ever do that to a square body uh, other than racing applications they're stamped with quality fiberglass stickers on the inside uh, made in Ontario so let me know what you guys think. Let's go over and take a look at that square body Suburban. That thing's a beast.
Are those 40 inch tires? Wow. Look at the size of those things. Now from one extreme to the next. But yeah, you gotta crawl out, out of my truck and you gotta crawl up into this one, this one. So for you guys that know that uh, I've got a busted tail light here on Old Dale, uh, Kenny's gonna hook me up with a tail light off of another truck just to make sure that I've got one that's kind of uh, in better shape and you know, none of the guts are showing on the inside. So that's what we're gonna do with this, get that swapped out and uh, then I think we're gonna be on our way. So we've got our seat bought. It's tucked nice and neatly away in the back of the truck underneath the tonneau cover and we are about ready to strike her for home. But before we do that, we're gonna stop up here and uh, take a quick break, check the oil, make sure that everything is good before we hit the road. Well, there's still oil on the stick, so that's a good sign. Yeah, and if I had to guess, I'd say she didn't go down a whole lot, if any. So maybe we're at the point, guys, where this engine is finally broke in, and uh, we can stop worrying about engine consumption. Not engine consumption, oil consumption, because that's what we're talking about. Yeah, it might be down just a hair, but nothing to worry about. We'll check it again when we get home. So I just want to take a minute just to thank Kenny for being very hospitable and showing me around his yard and he's got lots of neat stuff up there. Uh, some of it will be used at some point in time, some of it may not be, but I always know where I can go if I need something. So thanks Kenny, I appreciate you, uh, you know, helping me out with this deal and uh, allowing me to get some film around your yard there and hopefully someday we'll be back. We're going to hit the road, so we'll see you guys when we get back home. Okay, so we've made it back to the house. We've got to get the seat unloaded and then we're also going to check the oil one more time and calculate our fuel economy to see, well, how bad we're doing. Uh, I do know that it took $32 of Supreme uh, to top it up from making that trip. So we'll get into all the details uh, in just a few minutes. So let's get this thing unloaded. Okay, so we've got that unloaded and we did some quick calculation on the miles per gallon on Dale. So if you're Canadian, you're probably looking for liters per 100 kilometers or you might be looking for miles per Canadian gallon. Um, we basically traveled 220 kilometers, which is 137 miles. We used 9.39 US gallons, which means that calculates to 14.6 miles to the US gallon. Canadian gallon is bigger, um, so we use 7.82, which converts to 17.5 miles to the Canadian gallon. So either way, last time we did our calculation, we were getting something like 11. Uh, that was to the uh, US gallon. Now we're getting 14.6. So it is climbing up there. Um, I do believe at this point, the engine is finally broke in on Dale. So we'll do a little bit of tuning on it now. Uh, the fact that it's not burning any more oil, or it doesn't seem to be, uh, and the fuel mileage is increasing. So uh, to go from uh, 11 to 14.6 miles per gallon, you know, I think we're doing all right. And that's just running in fourth gear. That's not with the lockup. Uh, we still got a little bit of tinkering to do with that. We need to get a vacuum switch for the firewall uh, so that it will shut off at certain uh, RPMs and this and that. Uh, but as it sits right now, the fuel mileage probably will increase once again when we get the lockup working. So in fourth gear, I'm okay with that. So um, we've accomplished a couple of things today. We've got our seat for Dale. Uh, we've got the motor finally broke in. It's not burning any more oil. And the fuel economy is increasing on this small block Chevy. So um, I guess that's gonna do it for this video. It's time to close it out. So as we close out this video, I want to remind you guys that we are still accepting Submit Your Ride videos and uh, they're two minutes long. Show me what you've got and I will host it on my YouTube channel for all the world to see. So thank you very much for uh, joining me on this little ride. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless.
let's do it again in the next video.